How to Create a Waterfall Chart in Google Sheets Waterfall Chart Data Requirements You need between one and two columns of categorical data to create a waterfall chart. Categorical Data Definition It describes a characteristic or a category of data. It takes on values that are names or labels. Categorical data is also called qualitative data. You need one column of numerical data to create a waterfall chart. Numerical data definition. It is in the form of numbers and is numeric in nature. It can be counted or measured and can be arranged in a logical order. Numerical data is also called quantitative data. In this video, we will first create a waterfall chart using two data columns. One column containing categorical data. One column containing numerical data. Later on, we will add one more categorical data column. Important, waterfall chart will only accept data in columns as shown in the image on the left. Click on the extensions menu. Install Chart Expo add-on, enhance your charting experience with advanced charts. An add-on is software that adds new features into Google Sheets. How to install Chart Expo video is available in iCard, located in top right corner. Video link is also provided in the description below. Please click on more. Once the Chart Expo add-on is installed, it should display an extensions menu. Click on the Charts, Graphs, and Visualizations by Chart Expo. Click on Open Submenu. Click on the Add New Chart button. Search for Waterfall Chart. Then select it. Select the sheet holding your data from Sheet Name drop-down. Note, header row checkbox is checked because data contains header row. Select y-axis column, amount. Select bridge column, bridge. You can set row range using the slider, or manually set value in start row and end row text boxes. Currently we will select all rows. When all required selections have been made, the Create Chart button will become active. Click on the Create Chart button. Waterfall Chart is created successfully with two data columns. Now we will add a categorical data column in the worksheet. This will stack the waterfalls beginning and ending columns. This is an optional feature. Note, the three bridge labels, cash, investments, and properties, are grouped in stack column, opening and closing balance. Select stack column, stack. Click on the create chart button. Note, opening and closing balance are shown as stacked columns. Click on the edit chart button. Click on the Chart Header pen to edit the properties. Then enter the header text. Click on the Apply button. Click on the Legend Properties pen to change the color of the bar. Change the color of all bars. Click on the Axis Left Properties pen to edit the properties. Click on the Label Text section to prep end dollar as a prefix to the numbers. Click on the Label and Connector Properties pen to edit the properties. Click on the Label section to prep end dollar as a prefix to the numbers. This is an example of don't float totals. This is an example of float totals. Click on the label and connector properties pen to edit the properties. Click on the set as total section. 
You can set the column as float by sliding the set as total button to the left, that is turning it off. Click on the label and connector properties pen to reset the property. Click on the save button. Click on the export button to export chart in JPG, PNG, SVG, or PDF. Click on the Add Chart to Sheet button to add chart image and sheet. We appreciate your business. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our channel.